We're here today to talk about the uh, brand new Element XR7. This boat has been designed with the similar hull of our original Element that we launched two years ago with great success. Um, we've taken that same concept of the M shape, which gives our, right, our, our stability when stepping onto the boat, as well as the turns it, and performance of that particular design, as it allows the customer to, to have the sense that they're driving a car instead of a, a traditional deep V hull. The boat cruises comfortably at 21 to 22 miles an hour. We have a uh, top speed rating with the 200, the optional 200 engine at uh, 38 to 40 miles an hour. We've stretched the hull. We've got a 22 foot length overall running surface on this particular model, but we have added an additional three feet off the back of the boat. So we are truly over 25 feet in length of usage on, uh, in this particular model um, at a very affordable price because Bayliner's philosophy is keeping boating affordable. Another benefit of having the M hull under this Element XR7 is we use the traditional bunk trailer versus the pontoon style. This allows for easy launch and retrieval. We knew that we needed to create a platform that the interior of the boat user area needed to be within that 22 foot. Uh, we do see that that's where the biggest growth for the pontoon product lines out there. Um, it, gives the, it gives the customer the right size of user area, allowing for anywhere from uh, 12 to 16 people for seating capacity. But we also wanted to make sure that we gave our customers enough room at the transom area of the boat for allow for ease of entering and exiting the boat, whether it be at a dock or from the water. We created a huge ladder, which we knew was very, very important, a very stable ladder, a very nice stainless steel gate area. We decided that we needed to have um, true bench seatings, both port and starboard side, um, with multiple facing positions. From there, we have three options of helm seats. We've got a standard low back seat. We've got a optional low back plush seat. And then we've got the optional high back seating. We have a step in head compartment below the helm. The helm we have raised five inches to allow for, for additional headroom in there. Forward from the helm, we've got our flexible seating in that area as well. This will allow your passengers to face forward, aft, or side by side. Throughout the boat, you will notice that we have created what Bayliner's heritage is in placing a storage everywhere. We've got storage under each seat. We've got in-floor storage. In fact, there's two lockers that are deep and can accommodate multiple carry-ons. At the bow of the boat, we offer an optional three-step ladder system. So when pulling up to the shore, you can enter the boat from the bow. We've got side entrance as well, very large door that will line up to your dock. We understand the importance of shade and so we, have, we are offering the optional rear bimini top and an optional forward bimini top. These two bimini tops can come together for a full shade across the complete top of the boat. The success that we've experienced over the last two years with the Element and the Element XL and now the XR7, we believe that we are evolving boating today.